What's going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and in this video we have two separate teams that are able 100% to clear the 150 level of the brand new Pirate King Adventures game mode. So the first team that we have here is going to be a gear 5 team with a friend captain of Rayleigh Gaban. You can switch these captains around, you don't have to have your own gear 5 so if you are lacking that 6 star version you can run Rayleigh Gaban and vice versa. I want to give a huge shout out to Emak Endut who was the original creator of this team and uh, I did see this team and I thought it was really really cool and I mean yeah it is very legend heavy as the whole team does include legends and it does include Toki and the secondary team that you'll see in this video also includes Toki but she's just so good for this team uh, for this content due to the fact that you can use it to avoid certain debuffs but more importantly receive a massive attack and orb boost that will bypass the enemies a special um, interrupt and that's uh, it's kind of important that you have that kind of mechanic Rayleigh Gaban is just a phenomenal character in this content had that captain to remove 10 turns of attack down and then also having that switch and special to remove um, the special bind on your crew providing chain boost providing uh, an all boost as well they're just a, a solid unit all round and the fact that they are a rainbow captain they're also like a pseudo speed farm captain they're just a great option for this content and gear 5 resisting the bind is great and and then his special ability providing color affinity, providing orb boost, providing just really, really, really cool stuff for the crew. But more importantly with Gear 5, being able to bypass enemy defensive effects is the key component as to why this team works. As we can ignore the damage reduction on Stage 4 versus Luffy, we can ignore the damage immunity and the barrier and the damage threshold on the final stage versus Brook. If you don't have gear 5, then you have to have characters on your crew to remove those certain debuffs, and it's just very, very annoying. Um, and luckily, with gear 5, he's just incredibly strong, enabling you to build teams and clear content that you wouldn't be able to do otherwise due to his unique design. So it's really, really cool. Um, another thing about this team that's interesting is we get to utilize a really cool super tandem that I haven't been able to utilize for a while, which is the Ben Beckman and Lucky Roo, because we are synergizing them with Usopp and Yasopp, because with our team, we're going to be able to uh, get the super tandem off, because at super tandem level 5, the Ben Beckman and Lucky Roo, uh, they only need one character to tap with, so you tap with Ben Beckman, Lucky Roo, then you can tap into Usopp, Yasopp, you trigger the super tandem, and then you get a big damage increase because of that alone. Now, even if you don't have the super tandem activated, this team will still beat uh, level 150 due to the huge amount of damage that we're going to have we have attack boost we'll have orb boost color affinity base attack boost we have a conditional boost as well so the super tandem is kind of extra and not really required but it does give you a huge damage increase that uh you know it's just kind of extra definitely not required in order to clear the content but sober mask is really cool being able to utilize him once again using him on stage 4 with the Onami support to remove the enemy's defense down, and then we can use him again due to his crewmate ability, charging his own special back, meaning that we can get those tandem slots on the Usopp Yasopp and the Ben Beckman Lucky Roo, so we can trigger that super tandem. Obviously, it's nice to have the attack boost on stage 4. Um, you don't even need the attack boost because we just have a lot of additional damage here. This is just a severe overkill team. The only thing that's kind of annoying is you do have to do quite a lot of stall on stage 3, but once you do that, you can just go ahead and and kill pretty quickly. I do a lot of stall on stage one and two, which is not really required because of the amount of stall you have to do on stage three. You definitely can get through this much, much faster than what I did in this video.
Moving on to the secondary team. This team is really cool and will be the team that I use in order to farm this. Um, so we're going to be using the combination of Kdad and Momonosuke, the new legend Momo, as a friend captain. So I was looking at different captains that had the ability to resist attack down because that was one of the biggest debuffs in this content. It's on two separate stages and it's quite a lot of it too. So Kdad are a really good option. They synergize well with the Momonosuke. And then I just kind of built the team around that. We wanted Toki because Toki allows our captains to bypass the bind that that happens on the final stage and uh, another really cool thing about kdad is that they're special while it does give you, you know full border slots and all the other amazing buffs the cool thing that a lot of people forget is that kdad actually removed damage immunity so we can use their special on the final stage to get all of those buffs there which is awesome now the reason why we have the big mom on the team is because after using the super type or the super class of momo he gives a 1.25 attack and orb boost that can be overwritten and it means that when we use the special of big mom to remove special bind and damage reduction on stage four it will also override momo's orb boost to only be a one turn orb boost for int driven and powerhouse rather than be a three turn int driven powerhouse orb boost which we would not want so that synergizes very very well together and we also have the okiku and otoko rare recruit from the batch was lucky enough to pull them and they work really well in this team of course they're, they're basically built to beat the content they help get through the chopper stage very quickly and by having that jimbe support we can keep the matching slots for stage four so we don't really have to worry about you know getting certain slots or getting unlucky with badly matching slots or anything like that in terms of a replacement if you didn't have Okiku and Otoko. I think the Psy Rare Recruit Brook might actually work. Um, of course, it would mean you would have to stall, do, do all that stalling on stage 3 against Chopper, like what I did in the previous clip. That will be uh, something that you'd have to do. And then having the Legend Odin support attached to Toki would mean that you could get the guaranteed Wano slot. And when I mean Legend uh, Odin, it would be the Strength Odin. Uh, and then you'd have to have some other color affinity support um, to give you some additional damage on the final stage. Uh, and then that would mean that you would get the all those Wano slots and then you could actually break through the barrier on the final stage without actually having to use a special that removes enemy barriers. But remember, if you do have that side Brook, it would mean you don't need some of those threshold removing supports, which is actually really nice. And then due to the super class of Kdad, they can get the top and bottom row slots into Wano, which means when we trigger the special of Zor, we're going to get a huge chain buff. Um, and then Zoro just for the utility of removing damage threshold. And then, of course, with the key supports on this team, also removing like one turn of additional gimmick removals. We have the Frankie attached to Kdad. We have the Otama attached to Zoro. So we can remove all of the attack down on stage four and stage five. And it works really well. So these are the teams that I'll be using. I'm specifically going to be using this team to grind all the way up to 150. And another thing as well is that after we do all of our damage, we have the final tap of Kdad to add a little bit of extra damage damage on top but i don't think we're going to need too much extra damage because uh you know we already do quite a lot of damage by ourselves but hopefully you enjoyed this video and if you guys enjoyed it make sure to go ahead and leave a like and if you want to stay up to date with all the content that i post including more one piece treasure cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and that guys i'll see you guys within the next video <laughs>